Well, you were just listening to the sounds of local musician Joe Kai. Joe is a violinist, a looper, and a vocalist, mixing a variety of styles of music, including jazz, classical, indie, and pop. A, a lot of things going on there. Take another listen. I am no longer scared But I find that I'm reaching for Talented. I love all the scenes from around the Portland area, too. So just like his music, Joe is showcasing variety and diversity in a new all-ages live stream show that launched over the weekend. His first episode was dedicated to the power of storytelling when it comes to the Black Lives Matter movement. Now, joining us live to tell us more about Cup of Joe is Joe Kai himself. Good morning. Thank you for having me. How are you? We are great, and I'm glad. I know you're the father of uh, twins, one-year-olds, so we're glad that you're here with us, you know, surviving. Yeah. It's, it's a pleasure to be here. <laughs> <laughs> so in addition to that, you do music full-time. So, so what inspired you to start this new show? Sure. Um, well, the quarantine, for starters, um, being so distant from everyone whom I love and also missing the live audience experience, I realized that on a personal level, I needed to be able to share my craft. Um, and then on the secondary level, for us to build a community around a lot of the, the tumult um, of the times right now, whether it's the protests, whether it is um, the quarantine and, and our loneliness, um, I realized that having a weekly show, all ages show, um, that was family friendly would be a good way to bring people together. Yeah, so I know you had started planning this uh, really before we saw all of these protests and nationwide demonstrations mm -hmm. picking back up. So you decided to focus your first episode on stories of the black community. How, how did this past weekend's first show go and, uh, mm -hmm. and who did you have on? It was amazing. I had Sharon Nairi Williams, uh, who is a storyteller as well as the executive director of Central District Forum for Arts and Ideas in Seattle, Washington. Um, it was really beautiful. I think we see a lot of statistics out there um, and there's a lot of kind of distancing even emotionally from the things that we really care about. So to have Sharon on um, to share her personal story um, of injustice and also to build together this idea of hope and imagining for what the future can be, um, it was really powerful I think for, for myself as well as the audience to, to emotionally connect. Um, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and I'm assuming we can just expect more of, of that type of thing every week? Yeah, um, so this, this on this coming Saturday, um, I have Andrew Defy, who is the Sacramento uh, Poet Laureate. Um, he is really into the idea of allyship, so that will be our theme. Um, and then we also have, I think most importantly, it's, it's a positive show, it's a family show. Um, and I'm imagining that on Saturday mornings, maybe as people are getting ready to eat breakfast or maybe they just ate a lot of breakfast, um, that they can come together, um, really address what is happening in society, but also to do so with hope and with a bit of uh, lightness. So the week after that, I'll have Mike Bennett Art, uh, whose artwork is right here. Mm. Um, I was wondering and, about that. I thought that wombat <laughs> looked familiar. <laughs> yep, so Mike will be on and, uh, and we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll talk about creativity and also making and creating joy, especially in times like these. I just think it's such a cool idea, just a fun variety show, really getting to connect with uh, all of these really cool local <laughs> artists and putting some West Coasters here in the spotlight. So I want to make sure people know uh, when and, and how and where can they watch Cup of Joe. So Cup of Joe is available on my Facebook page at Joe Kai, J-O-E-K-Y-E, -E, um, as well as my YouTube page, also at J-O-E-K-Y-E, -E, Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, please tune in. It's it's a really it's a heartwarming time. So, yeah, join yeah. us. Yeah, and other local businesses you're going to be highlighting and special guests. It sounds like too that we can expect to see. Yeah, the first episode we actually I did a hot sauce exchange with Sharon. Uh, I featured um, stinging kombucha hot sauce, which is made right in the Tabor neighborhood. Nice. Uh, and you know we have some other things in the works, uh, but really it's it's. You know, of course, I'm not really getting any, I'm not getting any endorsements. It's really about the things that I really care about and the small businesses that I care about in the local community that I, that I want to highlight and, and make sure that 
uh, I still have access to because I love that hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Well, Joe, you're great. I always love seeing the projects that you work on. I'm excited to see more of the artists that you've connected with and things you want to highlight in this variety show. So thanks for being here with us this morning. We'll, we'll let you go and get more coffee. Yeah. Sounds <laughs> good. Thank, <laughs> of thank course, you so much. Of course. Yeah. And if you want to check out Cup of Joe, again, it streams live Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. on Joe Kai's Facebook page. We will post a link to that on coin.com. Thanks, Joe. Have a Thanks. good one. Thank you so much. Bye.